Interviews are a necessity to any documentary or journalistic piece, but how do we make them look as professional as possible? Today, we'll be teaching you how to frame, light, and shoot an interview. The first and easiest topic to cover is where to shoot your interview. Oftentimes, interviews focus on a certain topic, and this topic can be made clear to the audience by where the interview is shot. Another issue is lighting. If you want to make sure the subject is well lit, you can do this by choosing a location that has lots of light and little shadows. The time of day might also matter if you decide to do the interview outside. Shooting the interview in the afternoon may cause some harsh shadows on your subject and make parts of their face hard to see. But if you decide to shoot the interview on a cloudy day, the light is much more neutral, giving each part of the subject an equal amount of light. Our second topic will be on the equipment you will need to shoot your interview. You will need all the basics, a camera, audio recorder, and tripod. But you can also bring additional equipment to raise the quality of your interview. A boom pole for your audio recorder will greatly enhance your audio and let you get the microphone much closer to your subject without going into the frame. A light kit and reflector might also help if you are in a dimly lit area and need some light on the go. If your subject is also on the go, a shoulder mount may help to keep your footage stable without the use of a warp stabilizer in post-production. Our final topic for today, and the most extensive, will be blocking and framing your shot. There are many little steps you can take to make sure your interview doesn't look clunky or awkward. Step 1. Make sure your tripod is set to a height that puts the camera at eye level relative to your subject. Step 2. Adjust your exposure manually before the interview and whenever there is a drastic change in the lighting. Step 3. Make sure your subject is in focus before shooting. If you know your subject likes to move a lot, setting your camera to autofocus may help with that. But be careful. Autofocus may cause some weird results if your camera decides to focus on something in the background rather than your subject. Depending on your lens, zooming in and backing up, or decreasing the depth of field, will make sure the background of your interview is out of focus, allowing the audience to focus on your subject and not something distracting in the background. However, at the end of the day, what you want your interview to look like is ultimately up to you, and what you want the tone of your interview to be, whether it be formal, informal, professional, or goofy. This tutorial is just a few suggestions to maybe make your interview look a bit more professional or formal. The decisions you make about your interview will be what matters in the end. 